Hey everyone, for today's drawing tutorial, we are going to talk about foreshortening. Foreshortening is basically the way that we perceive an object as it resides into space. So for example, if you take a look at this vehicle from the side view, it's very recognizable. But when we turn it like this, the side view now becomes compressed. Some people find it very challenging or very difficult to draw the side view like this when it's compressed, when it's foreshortened. And this is the front view. Now from the side view, the front view is actually compressed. So for shortening will depend on how you view the subject. And in the art world, for shortening is basically a technique that you use to create the illusion of depth and perspective. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you three tips on how you can draw with foreshortening. The first tip is not to think of what you are drawing as a thing. So for example, if you are drawing a vehicle, don't think of it as drawing a vehicle. If you are drawing a hand, don't think of it as drawing a hand. Sometimes the knowledge of the subject can actually prevent you from drawing accurately. So for example, I can tell you to draw a flower now. You can just draw a flower, but that flower is not going to be accurate compared to flowers in the real life because you're drawing from a mix of imagination and memory. And that memory is the thing that makes drawing for shortening so challenging. All right, let's start with a very simple drawing exercise first before we talk about the other two tips. Now, first exercise is to draw your hand. So to draw the hand in this view, it's very simple. You just follow what you see. And if I don't have a hand, I can draw a hand from imagination as well, but it may not be that accurate. So now to draw the foreshortened view, let's have the fingers pointing towards us. Now the second tip is this. Know where the lines are going to start and where the lines are going to end. So for example here, I'm going to draw the thumb first because it's the easiest for me. And I can get the thumb in this shape. And when I draw the index finger here, I know the index finger will start here because it doesn't go beyond the tip of the thumb. And I know the index finger will end here. There is an overlap here. So when I draw, I try to get where the lines will start and where the lines will end. I visualize the starting visualize the start and the end and then basically I just connect the lines in my mind and on paper. So in this case here it's slightly easier because when we think of a hand we don't think of a hand like this we think of a hand like this and we can draw some fingernails here as well they are foreshortened And we can add some curves here. And now we have a hand. We have some overlapping lines, which is nice because it gives us information about the foreground and background. So we know this finger is above this finger, which is above this finger. We have some contour lines for extra information. We sort of know how the finger is curved and also the wrinkles on the finger. Drawing with foreshortening is a fundamental skill that you can apply to basically anything you draw. With urban sketching there is a lot of foreshortening as well because most of the time there is perspective and when there is perspective there is going to be foreshortening. All right, for the second exercise, let's um, draw this vehicle and this is where I will give you my third tip we need to focus on the proportion. If we take a look at this vehicle from the side here, you can see the whole side. But if we tilt it or rotate the vehicle like this, now the side is foreshortened. And from the front, as you look at it, this width here, it's sort of similar 
to this width here of the front so when we are drawing we need to make sure that this width is similar to this width the reference photo for this vehicle is provided in the video description below in case you want to draw the same thing as I am drawing so you can just download the photo now this fountain pen that I'm using it's the Sailor Zoom Nib which produces a very thick line which is easy to capture on camera so that you guys can see clearly so this is the roof and this is the halfway point so this will come down like this so this is the front of the vehicle and this is the side of the vehicle and there is some perspective going on at the bottom here the line is not horizontal when we are drawing from observation we need to pay close attention to what we see and not what we think we see so when the lines are tilted make sure you draw them uh, tilted this is the front bumper this line also goes up slightly like this I'm just going to draw the main shape and not uh, not like all the details so here you can see this vehicle after you get the main shapes in it's starting to look like a vehicle all right so this side is also foreshortened so now we can see we have this width equal um, to this width and after you have drawn the big sections you can fill in the details very easily now for the the windshield here the left edge of the windshield will stop just right above the wheel here and don't draw the windshield beyond the wheel and then we can draw the windows for the window on the left side it's above the wheel here so it's like this it's a small window that doesn't go beyond below the wind uh, the side mirror here sorry did I say windshield earlier I was referring to the side mirror so you can just draw like this all right so now we have a foreshortened vehicle let's make this even more challenging to draw so now we are going to turn the vehicle like this okay so this side here it's now very foreshortened so when I look at something like this I will think of it as um, this is about one unit of width this is maybe one third or one quarter of this width so when I draw I need to constantly uh, tell myself that proportion uh, one to four so here I'm going to draw the front first because the front is easiest for me and then I'm going to draw the side which is a quarter remember it's a quarter so you can draw it all the way down the wheels here are very difficult to draw because they are heavily foreshortened oh let me turn it like this and the windows also very foreshortened in this case here I'm just going to use a vertical line to represent the windows because they are so compressed that you can no longer see the shape of the windows and this is the side mirror and we have another wheel here so with this drawing I wasn't thinking of drawing a vehicle I was just thinking of drawing the shape I drew the first shape here first and then I use proportion to help me draw the side here there is some inaccuracy here more specifically this wheel here in the back because of perspective it should not be at the same level as the front wheel actually this wheel should end right here and now let's apply the techniques we know to drawing buildings basically the proportion technique so for this building here this wall here it's foreshortened 
and the wall here is actually foreshortened but not as drastically compared to this so when drawing we need to figure out the proportion first so I would say uh, this is one unit and this side wall here is about three units and here it's about two units so I'm using this as a measurement tool so when I draw I'm just going to draw the main shape here so this is one unit this is the bottom here so this is one unit and the side wall here it's two units remember so it will end here and the corner the top right corner will end somewhere here right in the center here so now we can just join the lines like this so that's why I told you the second tip is to know where the lines will start and where the lines will end so I know the line is going to end here I just connect the lines down and I know the line will end here I just connect here and then connect here for the left side here um, unfortunately I did not leave enough space on the paper anyway the top left corner should end here which is about one fifth of this height so it should end around here and the bottom is around here usually when I'm drawing I don't place the dots like this I will have the dots in my mind I'm just putting the dots out here so that you guys can see clearly so now we can connect the dots and you can fill in the details you don't have to know perspective in order to draw perspective you just need to make sure you get the proportion and the angles of the lines right so for example with this photo you can see these two walls this one here and this one here they are mostly facing forward but this wall here with all these windows it's facing sideward and it's compressed so it's for shorten and if we take a look at the proportion um, this width here it's maybe one unit this is maybe three out of five of that unit and this is two out of five this photo was taken with me standing right here looking at the lamppost and with this photo you can see the proportion changes so now this is still one unit but it seems like this is just one quarter of the whole unit so when drawing that we need to make sure that this two sides here this is three units and this is one unit and know where the line is going to end it's going to end somewhere here so we just draw it and this bottom here it's going to end here and so we have something like this so this is the whole thing and this is one quarter this is three quarters and after you have this drawn in you can fill in the details if you get this wrong uh, filling in the details is not going to help you unfortunately for the shop houses at the background those are also very challenging to draw so the end the top right will end somewhere here and the top is around here there is actually another building here so it's around here so what I'm doing here is basically to find out where that line is going to end and then connect the lines for the next exercise we are going to draw some for shortened human figures and the best place to practice is actually inside shopping malls you can go to a higher floor and look down at all the shoppers and just draw them so this is a photo with some shoppers on escalators if you're drawing from photographs um, do take note that there is going to be some sort of distortion for example with this photo um, there is wide angle distortion how do I know because it seems like 
the elements that are closer to me they look much larger compared to elements that are further away so the body and the head it appears to be much larger compared to the foot so let's just draw this let's just zoom in and draw some of these shoppers here the photo was actually found on Flickr you can download it from the link in the video description below so I'm going to draw the lady on the left first I'm going to try and focus the shape focus on drawing the shape so this line curves down and then goes down slightly ends here right below the face and the dress it's a bit curvy and there is another person standing here the proportion of the face here it's quite small compared to the hair so when I am drawing, I'm constantly thinking about proportion and where the lines are going to start, where the lines are going to end. Let me just draw some uh, lines for the crease of the dress. Now for the arm here, it starts right here at the head and goes down to the midpoint here of this dress and curves and then go back up like this. And that's the hand on the escalator there are some shopping bags it's very difficult for me to see the legs here so um, I'm not going to draw the legs all right let's draw the sh guy here the shirt the shirt comes down at an angle like this and here it comes down like this now the shirt here this is about, I mean, if you take a look at the head, maybe this is one unit. So the shirt here, it will be about two units. And the arm is here. So when drawing, try to focus on the proportion and also focus on where the lines are going to start and where they will end. Here for this lady, the face it's facing here. And we have the arm here just beside the head. So if you are looking at a person straight on the arm, it's not coming out of the head. But here, at least with this reference photo, the arm is actually coming out from the head because of foreshortening. And we have the hand. This is the dress. When you are practicing, don't um, don't be too focused on the details. Just try and get um, the idea of um, sizing and proportion. That is more important than getting the details right. Here's the other guy at the back. I'm drawing the hair first. This is the head, the, sorry, the face. Compared to the hair here, the face, it's about maybe two units. This will be three units. And also when it's for shorten, the mouth usually is very close to the eyes. And the ears usually are around here. But uh, in the photograph, you are not going to be able to see the ears. The shoulders are here. It comes out from here. The hand will uh, start here. Now this is very fun and challenging. So we have the arm here. Goes down like this. So the hand will stop here. And this is the other hand. So here this um, head, it's about the height of the shirt. At least from what I've drawn here, but in the photograph, it's a, I mean the shirt is about two 
uh, heads. So to recap, the three tips are focus on the shapes, focus on the proportion, and lastly, know where the lines will start and end. And also I need to emphasize this again, focus on getting the shape and proportion right first before you add the details. If your shape and proportion is not right, whatever you're drawing, it's not going to be recognizable and adding details is not going to make whatever you're drawing recognizable. So the shape and the proportion, it's very important. All right, I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn more about drawing, you can check out the many free tutorials I have on my YouTube playlist. The link is in the video description below, as well as link to my Patreon page where you have access to even more tutorials, the full length urban sketching tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.